Hello everyone and welcome back to Saiyan Squabbles. I am your truly Papa Ping Pong here to bring you another reveal. So today we have kind of an interesting and surprising one to me. It's multicolor. Now multicolor I thought was just going to get like two to four cards, you know, giving a little bit of support to archetypes that need it. But no, we're getting about 12, 10 or 12-ish. Um, and they're not weak either. They're pretty strong. I thought with the... Um, you know, push for monocolor that they would kind of, you know, be like, all right, here's a little bit of support and that's it, like afterthought. But no, these are pretty well thought out and powerful cards. But I hope everyone's staying safe and in this time of need, I'm all right right now. I hope you guys are all okay too. And let me know what you guys think below at the end of the video. But anyways, let's get into the first one. Vegeta and Trunks, no holds barred. Two drop, 16K, uh, red, green. So it is not a target of familial bonds. Deflect, so its effect is probably going off. Auto, if your leader card is red or green, when this card is played, choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total energy cost of four or less and KO them. Uh, I don't think this card is that great. If it was an arrival card, I think it would be much better. But it is not. I don't think that there's a way to cheat this guy out. And by the way, this is a future Trunks, not a Trunks that got eroded. Uh, but I don't know. I just... I. I think just Broly Unforeseen, uh, Terror, whatever it was, or whatever his name is, is uh, definitely going to be better than this. But Deflect, you know, it's nice. Maybe a sideboard choice if things just start to go wide and green, red-green starts to struggle. But I think this is the only bad multicolor card. And it's not even that bad. It's just in comparison. Two drop is nice, though. Moving on, we got Sun Goku and Hit Supreme Alliance. I'm actually pretty interested in this card. Uh, so it's four drop, 19k. Energy Exhaust, Blocker, Arrival, Blue Yellow for one blue, Active Battle, once returned, if your leader card is blue or yellow, switch this card to Active Mode. So, very interesting. Very, I think this card can be good, I don't know if it will be good. There's a lot you can search off of this guy, uh, or search from, you, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you can search this guy really easily, especially Sun Goku and Hit as well. Um, but, I think my Goku Black and Zamasu is probably going to be replacing Bojack with this guy. Because I sometimes I need my Goku Black and Zamasu to pivot to mid range or a little bit of aggro, um, depending on the matchup. And he's I charge a lot more blue, and then uh, yellow with this with Goku Black and Zamasu, so that's always really nice. Uh, a lot of the times with Bojack, it did get not a lot of the times, it was sometimes it got a little clunky because I had to pay a yellow, and yellow was hard to manage with my Goku Black and Zamasu, but. And then it's active battle, so this is active battle, so the attack has to go through, it cannot be negated. But if it does, that's an attack, and it is a blocker afterwards, which is very, very nice. Encouraging a little more aggress uh, aggression. I don't think this can be run in the Kaba deck, I don't believe it can be. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong below, please, but pretty good card, I like it. Moving on, Vegeta and Bulma, joined by Fate. This, I think, might be one of the strongest cards being printed. Uh, with multicolor. Definitely one of the better cards of the set, but anyways, this card is really good. Four drop, 20k, energy exhaust, arrival, red, yellow, auto. When this card is played, draw one card, active main once per turn. For a red and a yellow, choose up to one yellow Saiyan card with an energy cost of three and 20k power in your hand and play it. That is a lot. That is a lot this card can do for one energy. So not only is he potentially replacing himself, but for two energy. So you can do this turn three or the turn you awaken. You can choose, uh, what is it, Son Goku, Dawn of Divinity, that's the three drop critical offering 20k. Then there's the new Super Saiyan 4 card that is very impressive towards extra cards. There's, and I'm sure there's more targets than that as well. So that that's that's pretty that's pretty powerful, that's pretty, uh, pretty mean. And it's a 20k swing, so it's a threat if you really want it to be. Uh, with Beerus being more relevant, I think, than it will than he has been in the past, with Surge Goku taking a little bit of a nerf. Um, I think with the ability to multi combo with multicolor cards for free, you're going to be rivaling this guy a lot. And of course, replacing a rival is just good. Very good. Uh, Sun Gohan and Piccolo skill sharpened. Hopefully, this can save Piccolo. <laughs> so, 6 drop, 25k. So, Android 16, you're still able to play him if you ramp. Energy exhaust, double strike, triple attack. Wow, okay. Active main for one blue. If your leader card is blue or green and you discard this card from your hand, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards that energy cost of three or less and place them at the bottom of their owner's decks in any order. So that's kind of nice. It's never really dead in your hand because you can use that effect, especially early game, if your opponent's going pretty wide. Um, and especially with the new black aggro that's coming, it's going to be pretty powerful. 
Double strike, triple attack. So this guy's probably gonna be a finisher when you get him off. He's kind of like the secret rare. And it's kind of nice that we got a, a generic blue green with the loss of uh, Android 21. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good finisher. But anyways, moving on. Sun Goku, Rival Seeker. Three drop, 19k, blue, red. This guy's got some people talking and I don't know if that's a good thing. So permanent, if you have a red, blue, multicolor extra card in your drop area, you may reduce this card, uh, the combo cost of the card in your hand by one. That helps out a lot because Invoker really struggled with combo power, but it's basically four more 10Ks if you were to run four, uh, which is pretty nice. And then active main once per turn, if you have five or more energy and you have two red, blue, multicolor cards from your warp to your hand, choose one up to one red, blue, multicolor Sun Goku card with energy cost of six in your hand and play it on top of this card. That's insanely good. Not only are you recovering two of your cards and you can that you've been warping previously in the game, which was always a big issue for me when playing Invoker. I never really wanted to, you know, warp the cards in case I wanted to have a drop area for Spark or, uh, what was it? I think Victory Strike as well. But being able to recover those like Catastrophic Blow and not have to use your leader effect either is going to be very powerful. Um, and this isn't leader restricted either, I don't, I don't think. So you could run this in Vegeta or stuff like that. But... And then there's two targets for the six drop. There's a triple strike that has as many attacks you have multicolor extra cards basically that you can choose. So that's a good finisher. And then of course the one that's going to burn you to death, which is very powerful. You're getting those guys out turn five because originally there was no way to cheat them out, but now there is. But that does make it vulnerable to stuff like Super Saiyan Broly all at assault and stuff like that to be able to pop stuff greater than your energy. And also, the only reason I don't think this card is busted is because he has no protection whatsoever. Every counterplay in, almost every counterplay in the game is going to hit this guy. Also, it doesn't say in active mode. So if you were to Chompa the six drop or this guy, uh, you'd, they'd have to warp those two cards to be able to restand. So you're basically making them lose one attack, but a very good card, not busted, but strong. Uh, Frieza, Colossal Dynamo, three drop 19K, again, susceptible to almost every counterplay in the game. Blocker, Arrival, Blue, uh, Red, Blue, which for a Red, Blue. And then Auto, when this card is played, your opponent places two cards from the top of their deck in the drop area, then you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5k power for the turn. This is gonna be great for Janemba, I think. I think Red, Blue, Janemba is actually gonna become a thing. Um, in, of course, Tri-Color Janemba already exists, so I don't know how well this is gonna fit in. But the fact that you're gonna mill two, get a blocker, and neg something is pretty insane for only two energy. Um, I think that's a very good card, and I believe it's a swap target for uh, Frieza, so I think it's gonna be a nice addition. So next up, Sell the Dark Parasite, nine drop, 30k. And this is a target for the, what was it, the two star Dark Dragon Ball or whatever? But anyways, Energy Exhaust, active main for leader card is a green, yellow, multicolor cell, and you send this card from your drop area to your warp, draw one card, then add up to one card from your life to your hand. So that's really, really good. I think this guy is gonna be a two or three of, because you can search top five, pitch him, send him from your drop area to your warp, to then draw an additional card and add a card from your life to your hand. I know this was Cell, he struggled with Awakening when he wants to and plusing period, but this guy is gonna allow you to give the necessary pluses that you need. And I think this generally makes the deck far superior. And then it, and we haven't gotten to the second effect yet. I think that alone is already super good. If your leader card is a green, yellow, multicolor cell and you have four more energy and choose all of your non-token battle cards and place them in their owner's drop areas, play this card from your hand and you can't play copies of this card for the turn. So I don't know if you need a minimum of one battle card to be able to use that effect, correct me if I'm wrong. I. I can't even think off the top of my head if you can or can't, but that's basically a free successor cell for the nine drop because he is four energy and you don't need to worry about your opponent getting rid of your board. And he's also a 30k swing before that if you really wanted to. And no deflect, no barrier, so he's still susceptible to counterplays. Um, but I think this is going to be a very good staple in cell a minimum two i cannot see you running four uh it's at up to one card but I, I i two to three still really good and i think his last card yeah we got jiren alien power six drop 25k blocker arrival green yellow for a green and a yellow active main once per turn if your leader card is a universe 11 card increases cards energy cost by three for the turn Whew. so i'm not a jiren player 
but from someone I know that is a like a big fan of Jiren is telling me that this is really good. This does give them access to Successor Cell, or no, Successor uh, Super 17. They can finally play that. Will they play it? I don't know, because I think Jiren is going to be taking a lot of life. But this guy by himself is a 9-drop on the field, and he's a blocker. And 25k is very hard to get rid of. But, uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for all the cards. Not a lot, this reveal, of course. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, was it really only 8? That, it feels like more than 8. But maybe it's because of how good all these cards are. The only one that I don't think is good is the um, Vegeta and Trunks. The rest, I think, are good to great. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there's going to be some special content coming. Uh, I, you guys, you're gonna, you guys, I'm sure, are going to enjoy it. But hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See ya!